I've just got out of the bath, hence the wet hair. Um, and loads of you have asked me about my makeup collection. I'm hiding my eyes, by the way, because oh, yeah, I look really tired. <laughs> what a great way to record video. Um, so, yeah, loads of you have asked about makeup collection, and um, I have to divide it down into quite a few different sections because I've got so much of it. Kind of the stuff that I use for videos and for reviewing, and then the stuff that I use on a daily basis for myself. Um, so I thought I'd start by showing you my special drawer in my bathroom because quite often I do my makeup in here um, if, well, I do it in here quite a lot. So here's my special drawer. Everything else is in a real jumble. So this allows me just to have stuff that I know really works, I really like just you know at my fingertips really so I'm going to talk you through what I've got and hopefully this won't be too much of a, a boring video because a lot of you have asked it's one of my most requested videos starting from here uh, Chanel big powder brush really good for putting on um, bronzer and then a slightly cheaper well, a lot cheaper one that's the number seven directional powder brush slightly smaller and then here's a NARS powder brush but it's kind of um, a little bit more, actually I use this for putting highlighter on tops of cheekbones and also a little bit of blusher on the apples of the cheeks. Here we have my favourite all time concealer which is Double Wear from Estee Lauder and then behind it the Vichy Derma Blend, um, this is in shade 12 and I use that as an under eye concealer or on any blemishes. Then we have Becca's Skin Perfecting um, Illuminator and I use that along tops of cheekbones and underneath brows you've seen that in loads of videos. Favourite foundation um, possibly of all time by Terry Sheer Expert. Not cheap um, but amazing. Eye fixers here. First of all we've got the Sisley Eye Mask. You can see that there. Um, but that's not so great if you're just about to do your makeup because it does leave a kind of greasy, not greasy but um, really moisturised trail around your eyes and makeup doesn't really stick to it so this is really good they're lifting sticks and you kind of snap them and they fill full of liquid and then you put them under your eyes and um, they make your eyes really kind of awake and bright eye brushes there a Becca one a Suku one here on the left and then just an elf eyeliner brush I've got loads of brushes so it just depends what gets bunged in here really Illuminating Tinted Moisturiser and then that's in Natural Glow I think it's called and then down here we have number 7 Triple Protection Tinted Moisturiser which is a really really good one um, and it's not very expensive especially if you have one of those £5 off vouchers. Gemma Kid Cream Blush, this is in Pawpaw, one of my favourites. Underneath that we have Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill Eyeshadow in shade number 6 which is like a coppery, bronzy colour. It's amazing. Um, and you'll have seen this in loads of videos last summer. Shiseido Cream Eyeshadow in Gold. I don't know why that's in here, really. I don't use that a lot. Um, but there we go. Chanel Hydromax Nutrition Lip Balm is excellent. Really, really good. An eyeshadow in Truffle, which looks like that. This is a little sample one that I got in a gift with purchase, but... Um, it's a really nice shade. Dior palette that's just got a nice pinky tone and then some really good shimmery nudes in there. Rosy tan. Really nice. I've had that for a while. Even more used than that one is the Three Colours Smoky Eyes palette, which has that flip up mirror. And then you've got, they're quite similar actually, I suppose. But you've got a base colour and then a shimmery and a matte brown. So I use that one quite a lot. Here we have Estee Lauder Extravagant Gold palette from Christmas 2010, I think it was. Um, but I use this all the time. It's really, really great. They've got a similar one now called something like Bronze Dunes or something like that. And that's really nice too, because you can't get this one anymore. This is Jouer Cosmetics, brand from LA. And this is a bronzer in suntan because it's a really nice flat bronze, so it's good for contouring. There's no shimmer in there, look. And um, it's kind of greyish, 
So it's good if you don't like your bronzer too orangey. On the opposite end of the spectrum you've got Chanel's Soleil Tan, which has got loads of shimmer in it. Which I wouldn't really use during winter that much. Becca pressed powder, just in case I've got a bit of shine. A really old Chanel blusher that I think I've had for about 10 years now. Still going strong because I don't use it that often. Pink Cloud, definitely discontinued. There we go. Again, it's got loads of glitter in it. Not ideal, but I can't bear to throw things away. I'm a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to um, cosmetics. Gemma Kid uh, Gloss Stick, I think these were called. I should stop doing them now, they're really, really good. It's like a really nice, juicy uh, lipstick stroke balm. But actually, if I want to go even more nude than that, um, not nude, natural, sorry, then I use my NARS Pago Pago, which I've used in so many videos. That's got a really nice, kind of juicy gloss to it. Very, very easy to wear. I totally recommend it if you're not a lipstick person or if you're a lipstick virgin and you're looking to kind of purchase one that won't be too shocking. Then we have Tom Ford True Coral. Oh, then we have me making lots of noise. Tom Ford True Coral. As you can see, I only ever try to use it from the back so I don't ruin the um, Tom Ford imprint on it. And actually, I only ever need a tiny bit at a time because I don't often wear bright lipstick. So, nearly there, people. Hang on, stop falling asleep. Origins on the Spot Treatment, or Super Spot Remover, as it's actually called. Um, just in case I have any blemishes that I notice while I'm doing my makeup. Sue Devitt's kind of golden, um, creamy gel illuminator, which is really good for kind of collarbones, cheekbones. Where was I? Oh, I missed this look. That's a Rimmel concealer there. That's snuck in. It's a budget buy for you. That's a rarity. Um, a Dior lipstick. Rouge Serum. Shade 215. Which looks like that. Eyebrow Tamer from Estee Lauder. Brow Setting Gel. Tom Ford Black Orchid in a um, kind of travel purse applicator rollerball. Strivet and SD eye cream, one of my favourites, if not the favourite. Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Mascara, which I really love. This is in copper, but actually, because I'm a crazy kid, I use it quite a lot in um, the violet, uh, which makes your lashes look kind of electric blue, bluey purple. Um, but I really like the effect. New one that I'm trying at the moment, sometimes things that I'm reviewing and trying kind of make their way in here as well. So it's actually quite a good way to make sure that I use them because um, I'm in here so often. False Lash Telescopic. This is the one that Cheryl Cole's advertising at the moment. Possibly the only L'Oreal advert that's actually not been banned. Pixie Concealer. A bit too pale for me actually, but um, <laughs> I don't know why it's in here, <laughs> but it's a really, really nice consistency of concealer. Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara, which is very, very good, if a little kind of wet. Japanesque Lash Comb Brush Thingy. Murad Under Eye Perfector Eye Lift. Um, it's kind of like Touche Eclat, but not at all. It's, it's a skincare makeup hybrid, so... Um, it really makes the underneath of your eyes look brighter and tighter and lifted, um, but it's not really reflective like the Touche Eclat. So I put it on underneath my concealer just as a little bit of an extra boost, really. Clinique Lash Building Primer, Clarins Skin Illusion. I don't wear foundation that often. I tend to stick to the By Terry Sheer because it's not really like foundation. Um, I need a bit more coverage. High length mascara, brilliant from Clinique. It's one with the green comb. And then we've got the Estee Lauder again, which we've already seen. And then we've got loads of eye pencils. This is the Becca um, eyeliner in brown. It's a really nice kind of soft um, eyeliner that's really easy to apply. Last all day. 
Sisley um, eye pencil in khaki, probably the most expensive eye pencil in the world, but I do love a bit of Sisley. Then we've got a Pixie gel liner. Pixie ones are amazing. Endless silky eye pen, that's in black. Stays on all day. And then possibly one of the best of all, which is so cheap, they're just a couple of pounds, Avon Super Shock. That's amazing, that one's in black as well, but they do it in other colours. And then finally, this isn't actually an eyeliner, this is um, a clarifying kind of eye pencil. Three custom colour. And it's like a nude eye pencil and you put it on your waterline because it's so much better than using white because white actually makes the whites of your eyes look less white because they're against something that's really white so flesh colour just kind of really brightens them up and this is almost like a concealer pencil um, but it's got brightness in it too so I kind of use it around the nose as well in the crease just to brighten up that area that is my bathroom makeup drawer you can see that I'm in my slippers and my tracksuit. So glamorous. This is what Sunday nights are like at a Model Recommends headquarters. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. I'm not going to go back to my face because my hair's drying and it's going all crazy. Um, so I shall see you in the next video.